welcome back and nana here and then we are into the next session so in this session i am going to teach you about how to uh, perform an inventory transactions without creating a structure till now you have been creating a structure so the structure creation is really not essential because you will not be doing it in the field actually either the financial team or the project team will be creating the structure so below the bu bio activity actually starts in the field so you are now uh, learning it fine just for learning purposes i have given you so you'll have a look and feel of what you have done on the structure actually now i am going to teach you about how to work on without creating a structure so let me go on and share my screen so here if you go there and then if you go to where uh, this thing uh, open up this now so you'll have one additional docs and records number 4 now so all the new files will be uploaded over here and all the new files will be uploaded over here double click on it so you can now see the third one is a vision enterprise structure so 1 2 3 are there two is how to clean first is the global enterprise structure and then three is what vision enterprise structure so vision enterprise structure we are going to see now so we will now have a look at the vision enterprise structure so let me go there and then open it now in this place i have it now let me open it up so if you open it up you can now see this is a vision enterprise structure so you will be having only one enterprise in the top per instance actually below which we will be having a legal entity so for the vision us one legal entity is a one is a legal entity and the ledger name is us primary ledger and then the chart of accounts name is us chart of accounts and then the business unit is us on business unit and then we have a master org the master org code is 000 the org name is operations the location is headquarters and then i have given three sample child docs 001 002 and 003 these they are seattle atlanta and then chicago so they have kept the same org name as a location name also fine so there are plenty of orgs which have been created and then in this place i am now going to create my child org and then start to work on it we'll be getting it so this is one fine clear on this <coughs> jyoti any doubt so i am now going to create my child org now so to create a org first of all we have to create a location now i'm going to connect let's now create a location go to this place let us now create a location <coughs> go there click on it go there click on search and then go to manage locations so manage locations is one go there go to this place let me create a location and many of the people are using g03 when multiple people create on same gmv there will be a confusion clash the system may not check for the uniqueness it will not keep on creating it so have your own three letter code and then do everything on that prefix only so this time whatever they'll not get different one find a01 underscore madras i am not going to find that one so let me take a copy and then put on the code and then put on the description also go down and then here uh, these are all mandatory fields actually fine i will not go to the what's called the zip code 10020 and then give a tab now so once they give it up i will not choose one of them now and click on okay so once when you give a zip code the other things are getting populated in this place i will not say a01 underscore address one now i am putting it that's it i have to put the exact ones so once when i put a zip code the state city and county are getting automatically populated i am now writing the address line that's sufficient for a location now fine go there click on submit now so a01 underscore madras is now created so click on okay and then now we can go ahead and then create our inventory or we can go ahead and then create inventory or don't done now fine go there click on it so click on done and then come out of it you go to the manage inventory or manage inv or process inventory so we are going to get and go to the manage inventory or so i am now going to create a new inventory or for this now fine click on plus now. and then remember our credentials for the vision actually the vision credentials are this now fine with this i am now going to work upon fine with that so the name is what i will not put a01 is a child or fine i will not say madras i will not say child one or whatever way you want to nomenclate it you can do it now <clears throat> fine you would have put a good nomenclature for this now in reality you will be getting these names from the client actually and then organization code can be up to 18 characters but i normally uh, since vision is always on three three letters i am also putting a letter but it can be up to 18 characters now fine brother the first letter has to be capital if it is a uh, character now a 011 i am putting it now fine so the business unit is what if you see us1 business unit is the business unit fine brother so us1 and then give a tap it will be coming automatically <coughs> and then it is not red wood city go on and change it a01 and then give a tap the madras is now coming <coughs> Uh, sir, I am in a training. I will call you. I will call you. Okay. 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 <clears throat> so, A01 Madras is the one which I created. Fine, go there. The legal entity, if you go there and then see, it's US1 legal entity. Fine, go there. It is US1. And then you tap, it will be coming. Fine, go there. The profit center business unit is automatically in the same business unit. We'll be discussing about it a bit later. Now. Click on next now. Fine, go there. Click on next. And then this place, whatever. You say this is a master, the child org, and then the 
master all this operations you can now see operations is the master all fine it is already populated if it is not populated properly you have to put it so one when this org and this org are different it is a child org if both are same it is the master org and that's not item grouping behavior is definition org i'll be coming to the definition reference a bit later now and not now and that's not and then start revision make it as a a now fine that schedule is also operations i have not put the schedule over here now that is not put over here the schedule is not put over here schedule is also operations fine ob or at and then you tab now So once again, that is not coming. Fine, drop it down. Then choose it. Now, fine, click on search. And then put the operations. Fine, click on search. And then this is operations. Fine, click on okay. And then look at the control determinant. But uh, subunit level is the best level. That's it. Your org is created. Fine, your child org is created. Working on visions enterprise structure actually. This is a business unit. This is a legal entity. Fine. This is a primary ledger. So these are the credentials. Click on save and close. That's it. Your org is ready. So within a few minutes, you have now created your org. Now, fine. Go the organization name is what. Uh, A01 and then enter it now. You'll now see the A01 Madras is coming now. Fine, that's not it. And then click on edit and then have a look at it now. That's it. Fine. That's it for me in this session, actually. Any doubts? No sir. Good. So bye for now, and then we will now meet again after some time. And by anything is there. So by this, we can quickly create within two minutes time your inventory or becomes ready for transaction actually. So, so we, are, we are required to have uh, uh, sub inventories and locators for sure. Ma, huh? locator determined at sub inventory level is the one which I have done now. What is your question again? Tell me. I'm asking like sub inventory creation and locator creation is compulsory. Here. Yeah, yeah, it is a must now. Fine, go there, click on it. So I have to create the sub inventories also. I forgot about that. We have to create the sub inventory also. So we can go there. It is manage uh, sub inventory <coughs> locators. Fine, that also has to be created. Go there, click on it. Now go to the manage subunit locators and then change the org to A zero one zero Z zero one one now find A zero one one and then click on okay now find the org will be coming so we'll have two RMS subunit list. Click on plus now find now create two RMS subunit list. So click on plus. I will now say it's A zero one one A zero one one underscore RMS underscore one now. So the one you take a copy of it for other now. And then I have not tied the location. Location tie is also must. Now, fine. Otherwise, it will not work properly. Location or tie is must. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then click on save and close. We have to tie the location also. <clears throat> it is not done. So similarly, I will now create the second org also. Second sub inventory also. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then click on plus. Now I have to create the second sub inventory also. It is E zero one one. And then RMS underscore two. The naming conventions are only for the class. Actually, in reality, you have to use the real names given by the customer now. Not these names actually. A zero one, I don't know how. A zero one one RMS two. <clears throat> so take a bit. Then put the description now. Then we'll put the location over here now. Sorry. Is it A zero one? And then go tap. And then log command. Click on save and close now. So we have created two subunits, and then we have to tie the locations also to R. And there is also must now. So you go there. Go to the manage locations. Manage locations, and then tie the locations to R. Thank you. So we have got only one R. I go to it. Similarly, we can create any number of org. Query for it. A zero one, and then make a search, and then select it, and then edit, and then I will now perform an update now, and then I will now uh, equip OK for this now, and then in this place in the inventory org, I am going to take it. So location creation, and then inventory org creation, org location tie, and then sub inventory creation are the four activities now. A zero one, and if you wait for it, it will be coming now. So. This is now completed. Fine. Click on submit. Our activity is completed for every inventory org. For every inventory org, we have got four activities: location creation, and then org creation, then location org tie, and then sub inventories. That's it. He can do it in about five to seven minutes actually. And what about locators? That are not must required. Locator is not it uh, done. Nah, fine. We'll be doing it while in the training actually. Okay. Okay. So uh, one more thing, like uh, sub inventory type, it is always to be storage. Uh, we will be discussing about it a bit later on. Okay, okay, fine. Normally for an inventory org, it will be always a story. Okay. So I done all the four steps in about seven minutes time. So it's very easy to work on a vision. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank. Bye for now. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye.